Hey, it's Livy Michelle and welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I would love for you to join the family. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So today we are making this beautiful Cam onion dish called a goosey pudding. It's really 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 good and it doesn't require a lot of things So let's get started. Let me show you what you need in order to achieve this beautiful Cam onion dish. So you will need meat. I have here cooked Beef as you can see it's actually still warm. I boiled the meat and I cut it into little pieces So I have here smoked fish. I don't know what type of fish it is I'm gonna try to figure out what type of fish it is, but you need smoked fish I have it soaked so I can use the juice of the fish. I also have the juice of the boiled meat that I'm going to be using later. Your main ingredients are black pepper, salt, and white pepper. And of course, you also need hot pepper. This is optional. This is just to kind of like decorate and show the beauty inside the egg. So you don't have to put the eggs. This is optional. These are already boiled. A little bit of oil. And of course, our egusi. So egusi is pumpkin seeds that's what we call a goosey in Africa pumpkin seeds so when you eat pumpkins you remove the seeds you let it dry and then you break open the seeds and you remove this inside this is what that is I like to eat mine with ripe plantain or sweet potatoes or like cassava and it's really good with bobolo this is a Cameroonian thing it's it's made of cassava so it's cassava bread made of uh, cassava I'm going to blend my egusi first and then I'm going to show you how you mix all of this together. So I have here my egusi blended. So this is my pumpkin seeds that I blended. I do have some of the water here that I, I boil with the meat. First I'm going to put my black pepper. Ooh, I can smell it already. It smells so good. Uh, white pepper. Oil. You just put a little bit of oil. When you cook this egusi as a soup, it takes a lot of oil, but because we're not doing, we're not making soup, we don't need that much oil. So I'm gonna just stir that together. I am not going to add the salt yet. The reason why is because I have boiled the meat with salt and I wanna make sure I don't put too much salt. So I'm gonna add my water now. So this is what that looks like now. So I'm gonna add my village pepper here. Just a little bit. This is very hot. You don't want to put too much. It's gonna just like burn you literally. And I'm also using white pepper straight from Cameroon, which is very strong. Add the fish. Time to put the meat. Time to add my eggs that are not cooked. I forgot to show you before you add the meat and your fish you're supposed to literally beat the batter I call that the batter it's a way to make the, the, the batter rise so you're supposed to beat it before you put your meat and your your fish I forgot to show that but make sure you do that remember we didn't add salt so it's time to add our salt now So to make this, I have my bowl. I'm just gonna place my aluminum foil there and add that in there. Make sure when you're grabbing, you're, you're trying to get some of the meat and some of the fish as well. I'm gonna drop my egg in there in the middle, right there, and you have to cover the egg because you wanna make sure that it's in there. There you go. And we're gonna add some more of this. 
when it closes and place in our pot. If you want to save space, you use it this way. So I have this one that I put here. So here are all my wrapped uh, igusi pudding cake type of thing. Cook this for at least two hours on high heat because you want to make sure that the the goose is well cooked because if you don't cook it well it might provoke some like diarrhea and all that because it has to be well cooked so what I do is every 30 minutes I have to open the pot and check and I if there's no water I have to add water to the corner you never want to put pour water at the top you don't want to do that if you don't have space you can just pull one of your one of these and just pour the water right add water right there and just let it cook always remember you don't want to pour water from the top so I'll let it cook and we'll be, it will be ready to serve.